Hi, I'm Ronnie. Welcome to the room of assorted wares. I'm going to figure out how to make this work with this. Stick around. So here's my CNC. My current dust collection setup goes from there into this shop vac, and then the exhaust hose is run out of this little insert I put in the window. I recently bought this. It's a dust topper. It's supposed to separate the dust before it gets to the shop vac so you never have to clean the filter, or hardly ever. But if that's the case, then I think I might be able to make this shop vac work and just bypass the shop vac bucket altogether. All the dust that would have been caught in the filter will be thrown outside, which is fine. And it'll be one footprint instead of having a bucket and a shop vac. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I think I'm gonna start by cutting away this cage and getting the ball out of there because the diameter of this inside piece seems pretty similar to this and I might not have to do much. By the way, the reason I have a shop vac motor and no bucket for it is because there was a tragic fire in this room because of this CNC in the bucket of this shop vac and it ruined the, the bucket and the filter. Uh, there was a ton of smoke in here. It was crazy. But I figured out why that happened, and it's not going to happen again. <laughs> Alright, I have the cage cut off. Trash that. The ball. Trash that. And now, that's kind of gross. I'm going to turn it on and see. I want to turn this on and check to see if it just sucks through here, or if it sucks through this outside as well which is gonna affect how we're gonna do this. All right, got it plugged in. Let's turn this on and see. Okay, so I've been playing with some stuff. Ignore the sounds. There's a... So I've been playing with some stuff. And this right angle adapter that came with the dust stopper, um, supposed to go there for for the input. I think I might be able to cut it because the smaller end fits snugly over the input of the dust or the output of the dust topper. And it's too small for this. But the big end is too big for that. So I'm thinking if I cut it right here and just make a straight coupler that it might fit snugly in there and I'll just have one piece between the two. So, I'm going to cut them and see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to cut this with my bandsaw, like so. these cut. Excuse the mess. So I cut this off. That side fits over, it's over here. And this side is kind of snug in there. Like, I could pick it up almost or push it down. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape, duct tape around this, stick it in there, then I'm going to duct tape around here to seal it. And I think that'll probably work. So it works. I think it's going to be a lot better than what I have right now, or a lot better than having 
the desktop are separate from a from a shop vac. So it's only gonna take up a little footprint rather than two footprints. And um, no need for a filter. All the fine stuff is just gonna get shot outside. So maybe there'll be an update if anything changes. I ended up not taping this to the lid. You know, I don't have to. It sticks it sticks really well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put it in place and finish up. Alright, so now to test, I'm gonna empty all the sawdust out of the catch in my bandsaw into the bucket. Then I'm gonna dump the bucket out and suck it back up and see how much it separates. Use the shop vacuum here. Change of plans. I need to empty the bucket out over there and I'm gonna suck all the sawdust out from the catch in my table saw. I'm gonna keep an eye on the outlet to see if there's a bunch of dust coming out here um, and then we're gonna see how much is in the bucket when we're done. When I was uh, cleaning out the catch, there wasn't much dust coming out of here. So I imagine there's going to be a lot when we open it. So let's open it up and see. Oh, yeah. That is uh, an amount. I'm going to do one more test with the pile over there and wrap it up. All right, so this is a much cleaner setup. The exhaust going straight out the window. The intake coming here. If I need to change it, I just pick this up. And there's no filter that. I, the problem before is that there's a filter on here. Here, let me show you. This other one I was using. And if it got full, the filter gets so dirty that you almost have to just take the whole thing outside or you get sawdust all over the place. But this shouldn't have that problem. 